So bright outside. Holy moly. But it looks nice, so look at those clouds. Would you look at that? <laughs> oh. Well, 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 well. Here in the garage. Kind of quiet here because everybody in, the, in my family is out doing something. I don't know what. I guess they all have various projects, I guess, or various things going on, more or less. But I'm here by myself. Here we're lucky. Lucky. He just got himself a haircut today. He was all bushy and all that earlier, but now yeah, he's not so bushy anymore. <laughs> oh, what a day. Sky is like at least 85. At least a good 85 degrees. Well, it was 85 degrees. I'm sure it's, it feels like it's cooled down a little bit now compared to what it. Uh, to what it's looked like beforehand, anyway. But, uh, wait a minute here. Oh, this is like a piece of. <laughs> okay, never mind. I just had my thumbprint on there. I was looking at the lens, I just I thought it was a sticker on there, but I guess not. Oh, yeah, so it's definitely, uh, definitely a nice day. You know, and today kind of counts as, uh, uh, just by way of kicking off summer, you know, with a with a brand new video for the month of June. Uh, not really a whole lot going on, but uh, I'll just let you guys know kind of some of the new things that have happened since I came back from my vacation and everything. I wants to come here this summer. Uh, as you all know, I did go on, for those who haven't seen it or who haven't watched it, or who have seen it and want to watch it again. I've been talking about this a lot lately just because I'm very proud of this. It's actually my first major project that I've actually been able to accomplish uh, in my entire life, you know, as far as uh, projects go. And what am I talking about? Obviously, uh, something I did over a month ago, about a month ago, uh, with my buddy Mike. We went over and had a great time over in Astoria, Oregon. Yes, the same place where the Goonies are filmed and Kindergarten Cop, and Short Circuit, and everything. And what we did that was different compared to the last time I was there four years ago was this time I actually took the time and I filmed a documentary. Now, in the last video that I made, uh, well, besides the trailer for it, uh, the video before that was talk I was talking about the documentary a little bit, explaining you know some of the give you guys kind of some of the inside tips to it and everything, why certain things happened, what they did and everything. Uh, but mind you, it was unscripted. The only part that was you know planned was the very last part, and someone must be gotten stopped or something. I hear. <laughs> Somebody's getting in trouble, or I think it's the ambulance. I think. Let's go follow here. <laughs> already got some good action adventure stuff going on already. That's pretty loud, huh? Whoop. Yeah, somebody's somebody's ready to play a game to you. Uh huh. Wonder why they. I wonder why they quiet everything down when they turn. Anyway. <laughs> I already have some fun stuff going on already. Here in the big city of Greenbush. So where was I? Uh, okay, talking about my documentary and all that. Uh, it is posted online. But uh, what I was going to say was a few people would give me some slack a little bit. On why I call it a documentary. But a documentary to certain people, to most people, is something that is like, well, I think the, the real key to what a real documentary is is something where you, you pick a subject and you go with it the whole time that you're on, on that subject and you interview people about that subject who were a part of it or people that were, you know, that know a thing or two about it or is history or whatever. And... 
that's kind of, in a way, what I was trying to do with, uh, with, uh, you know, the documentary that I made. I, you know, I said that it was, uh, part movie, part documentary, part around the town vlog, a, a little bit of everything that you can think of, it was. So, while I call it the Road Back to Astoria Oregon documentary, uh, that's just what I wanted to call it. Plain and simple. Some people probably still don't agree that it's not a real documentary, and that's fine. But, my biggest thing is I just want people to, to watch it as much as they can because this is kind of huge. Now, originally I was going to put this on DVD, but I decided I'm going to wait on that for a little while because I, I think I kind of screwed myself a little bit because I I decided because of since it was, we had fast internet over at Astoria and I just went ahead and uploaded everything to, as quick as I could. I didn't think about, well, I could have done like a nice little intro beforehand. And could have done like some opening credits and some ending credits and, and everything else. And I could have put it on DVD and maybe made a little bit of profit prior to instead of putting it online right away. I think the thing with me is that I, sometimes I get so caught up in things and I get so excited about certain things that I want to show. You know, I just figure I'd just take the easy way out and, and do that. So I can understand why I didn't really get no attention to anybody actually wanted to buy a copy of my movie because most people have already seen it already. And I knew that because I don't have that big of a following that it was going to hurt me a little bit, but not really. I mean, a lot of people did watch it, and a lot of people who, a lot of important people that are important to me anyway, uh, that matter to me anyway, uh, watched it. And uh, so that, you know, and, and maybe that's the best feedback at all of all. Maybe it's something that's not meant to be on a DVD. Maybe it's just something that's meant to be online for the whole world to see. Because, you know, it didn't have no... It didn't have no, uh... Copyright. Nothing copyrighted or anything. No pirated music or anything like that. It was just a simple... Just a simple, simple vlog. Or a simple, simple... Uh, production, I guess. More or less is what I would, what I would say. But I'm very proud of it. And regardless of what people thought, as far as not calling it a documentary, well, it is what it is. You know, I, I call it that just because I, I believe it is. You know, and that's all that really matters. I guess when it comes to, when it comes to, uh, uh, you know, putting together projects, I guess whoever creates it is responsible for whatever they want to call it is up to them, more or less, you know, I call it a piece of art, because I think it's, it has a lot of things that you don't normally see, you know, in other videos or whatever, all wrapped into one big, big bad video, oh great, now I got a company coming, anyway, so we'll have to probably take this somewhere else here, so I can finish what I was talking about, so what's to talk about? I guess in this video, and uh, oh, let's see, where do I can go somewhere here? Do, 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 do. It is very nice outside, though. It really, really is. And there's gonna be a lot of things that we're gonna be doing this summer here that will be kind of cool. I'm gonna be doing eventually. I'm gonna be doing a book review. I don't often read books, but I've been reading. Starting to read a few chapters anyway of of the book that I bought in Astoria called uh, called Three Weeks with the Goonies and it's by a local author that lives in Astoria named Mick Alderman and uh, I actually am friends with, friends with him on Facebook and and uh, I have been chatting back and forth with him and I told him that I will eventually be doing a book review once I finish it. I don't know when that'll be, but it'll be sometime this summer. As well as a few other things that we'll be doing this summer, like going to, uh, well, as far as stuff that we'll probably film or we won't film. Uh, well, my sister's going to be having a baby. Two years ago, my brother's girlfriend was having a baby for the very first time. Or, I mean, for, you know, in our family, anyway. But, uh... Yeah, it's gonna be kind of, it's gonna be kind of nice, you know, have another, have another nephew, 
we already know it's a boy already. And so I think that's going to be kind of exciting. And then, uh, what else is going to be happening? Maybe that will be on here. Well, eventually I'm going to be doing more DVD reviews and stuff and DVD and Blu-ray updates. I did uh, purchase a new surround sound system. It's not really a new system, but it's not really an actual surround sound, but I guess you could call it a surround sound because it kind of is. It's a uh, Philips 3.1 uh, sono wave system, and it actually sounds pretty good. It actually does sound like it, there's surround sound literally built in. So I definitely, definitely like it. It sounds great, and it's like 300 watts, and I only got it for like $10 uh, from somebody that was selling it at a garage sale, somebody that I know. So, other than that, I guess there is, I guess that's really all there is to talk about, I guess. But I hope you guys go and continue to support the, the, uh, the movie, anyway, and the uh, uh, Road Back to Astoria, Oregon documentary, eventually... What I'm probably going to do is put it in four different, or four, one whole part, and then add some extra stuff, maybe. Add my own introduction, maybe. And I was thinking maybe possibly doing like a, I'm sure it's too long to do like a commentary track, but, but we could maybe shorten it up, maybe, and do that. I guess we'll just have to see. Anyway, I'm Frankie Slauson, and we'll see you guys in the next one.